I'm Jared Padalecki. And I'm Jensen Ackles. Tiger. Dean? <laughs> you scared the crap out of me. It's because you're out of practice. <laughs> or not. Get off me. Dean, what the hell are you doing? Well, let's talk about your TV brother. Did you guys know each other before? You we didn't. Know We'd never met. We had never met, actually. Just sense. because. I know, you would think, right? I mean, the, the, he'd been on Dark Angel and Smallville and, you know, kind of the whole Warner Brothers crew. Like, outside those doors right now, they're. 30 different people from 15 different Warner Brothers shows. And you meet everybody and you kind of introduce yourself and you get to know them. But I'd never met Jensen. I'd never met Jensen. And so when I met him, we kind of immediately hit it off. He's a Texas boy also. He's from, he's from Dallas, I'm from San Antonio. But still, you know, still something about Texas and like talking about country music and, you know, driving a truck and talking about dogs and this and that. And, uh, and he and I have a good time together. And it's so funny because uh, we sort of we sort of hit it off and filming a pilot you know you you bond and you film 15 hour days 16 hour days 18 hour days here and there and so you know you're hanging out with each other and you really get to know each other really well in a short period of time and so are you doing brotherly things already kind of we're kind of hitting each other and making fun of each other and all the mockery that comes along with having a close body or, or a brother mm -hmm. yeah we're we kind of, yeah we do do that we we kind of know each other's buttons and we push them and yeah he's a cool dude What the hell are you talking about, Dean? We've been searching for this demon our whole lives. It's the only thing we've ever cared about. Sam, I want to waste it. I do, okay? But it's not worth dying over. What? I mean it. If hunting this demon means you getting yourself killed, then I hope we never find the damn thing. That thing killed Jess. That thing killed Mom. You said yourself once that no matter what we do, they're gone, and they're never coming back. Don't you say that, don't you? But after all this, don't you say that. Sam, look. The three of us. That's all we have. That's all I have. Sometimes I feel like I'm barely holding it together, man. Without you or Dad, I... What do you think makes a good critic? Uh, an honest person. Oh, get away from me. Uh, man. I, I wish he was a critic and not my brother. Uh, no. That's awesome. You should be kissing my ass, dude. Now, your uh, co-star, Jared, a bit of a baby. He says actually shooting the show scares him. Uh, yeah, he is a bit of a baby. I, I, <laughs> I, uh, I have to slap his hand away every now and again when he wants to hold mine. But uh, <laughs> he's, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's also a, a very big baby. He's, um, a, he's a strapping young man. He's strapping. You know, I'm 6'1". He makes me look I'm 5'9". And, and, and he's, the guy is 6'5". So it's, uh... And I wanted a big brother to just be a total smartass. I mean, that's how he started, <laughs> you know. Um, it uh, really helps us because mm -hmm. these two guys. Big hug, big hug. My wife was quite the Gilmore Girls fan, oh. so <laughs> I, uh, I knew. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, I, knew uh, I, I knew Jared's work. And Jensen, uh, our director, David Nutter, uh, who uh -huh. directed the pilot. Um, knew Jensen from uh, either was it Dark Angel, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he knew him from Dark Angel, and so uh, Dark Angel, Jensen and Dark Angel, Woo! I mean, come on. And uh, so when we were, you know, when we were casting the characters, it was it was David Nutter who said, you know, we have to we have to fly down Jensen, who was up shooting Smallville at the time, so he wasn't really in the in the in the pilot pool, and you know, thank God we did, because he walked. Actually, the story, which was funny, is Jensen walked in the room. And, and met with us, and, and, and David and, and Peter Johnson and I, and, and we talked to him and talked to him, and we walked out the door, and we looked at each other, and we were so excited, and we were like, we found him, we found Sam. <laughs> and, 
I didn't get flown down. I didn't fry <laughs> yeah. myself. Yeah. So yeah. And, uh, I wanted that to be known. And, and, it was, and so, you know, these things just kind of form as, as puzzle pieces come together. And it wasn't until we met Jared that we were like, well, that's Sam. And we're like, and then, you know, Jensen could be Dean. And then it all just kind of, you know, it all kind of came together from there. That's real interesting. Well, how about you guys, Jared and, and Jensen? Can you tell us? I'll let Jensen of, take that from one. Your, oh, you uh, go ahead. Oh, Thank Jensen, that's, yeah, no. that's totally you. What was, Honestly. What's the, what's the exact question? The question is... <laughs> Spelling bee. <laughs> These people want to hear is me going to an explanation of. I love the script. I love the character. Did so, I? So. <laughs> we're doing a. We're doing a, a, a answer. I'm awake. Okay. So, uh, well. So. Okay, Jensen. What was your expense? Pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well said, Jensen. You know, I, I, I studied for Sam, and and I went in there, and I I actually kind of studied for Dean a little bit too, just in case. And um, I went in there and I read for Sam and, and, and uh, like Eric said it and they were like, you know, they were pleased with it. Um, and then went home that evening and got a phone call and he said, well, uh, uh, there's this guy, Jared uh, Pada, Pada something. That's a pa pa Pada something. Pada something. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and they really are liking him for, uh, for one of the brothers. And I'm like, okay, so of course I look him up online and I'm like... <laughs> He thought I was hot. He's, he's, <laughs> this guy's smoking hot. I can't <laughs> play his brother. And um, no, and 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 then they said they said, but they'd like to bring him back in for Dean. And I, of course, was very excited about it. And I came back in and, and uh, uh, was thrilled. So uh, that's kind of how it all. So yeah, well, we went in and, and and that was yeah, that was the first time we actually met. And then we hmm. did the scene together uh, for a, a, a room full of executives, and uh, right. that was that. Okay. And we've hated each other ever since. Yeah. <laughs> I poisoned your waters. So. <laughs> uh, it's just great, and you can imagine, I can see instantly five years of, of suffering for these guys in, uh, in episode <laughs> after episode. Uh, and the second thing, honestly, is, is, uh, is casting and chemistry. And chemistry is something you can't manufacture, and these guys have it, and they're so great to write for, and they're so fun to write for. <laughs> You know, we're Texas boys, I, I think. Yeah, we'd, you know, we'd, we'd probably drink what you imagine a couple Texas boys would drink. <laughs> Put in a cup. <laughs> That's right. I have a question for you guys. Going back to your first question, the green screen and, uh, and stuff, we, we do do a lot of, I said do. You said do do. You said do do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, did you guys know each other before you got cast? No, no, but I think we're both pretty laid back guys. Luckily, yeah. you know, like he's from Dallas and I'm from San Antonio, and we kind of have that Texas so attitude. For, except similar for background, except for last and night. Your, and your, and right, your well, I'm a basketball team. I'm a cowboy yeah. fan. I'm a cowboy fan because I grew up a cowboy fan. Because you kind of so that helps. Yeah, but uh, last basketball. night was a big uh, was a right. big rivalry. The right. my Mavs took on his uh, his Spurs. I think lost. he poisoned me, and I couldn't wake up. Is there money on it? No, there yeah. should have been. You know, <laughs> yeah, he, know, he knows should, better. There should have been. I know now, who, now, who, you, you kind of had some trouble getting up this morning. Who's, uh, I, I want to get the scoop. I did. Who, is this you? Are you usually the one that oversleeps, or is it the other way around? I'm not I'm even the one that oversleeps. I'm actually the one that usually he's oversleeps. Missed, I think really? he's missed a flight or two. Yeah, that the, they're waiting for me in production. Right, like, because like, like, flying we'll in, go in and shoot. And, and granted, we I'm have there. two days off in Vancouver. We usually fly down to L.A. and try and sneak in some R&R &R in Los Angeles. But I've been at the airport <laughs> at a little too much 7 in the morning, <laughs> yeah, uh, getting on the airplane like, Jensen, hey, are you, uh, are you at check-in? He's like, I'm in my room. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that what? happens a lot. All right. So I don't know how, I, I just... It's just one out. of those things. Next up, it's Supernatural. Oh. It's an awesome, awesome show. <laughs> I hate him. Uh, you do your own stunts, right? I try. <laughs> yeah. What is what's the, some of the craziest stuff you've had to do? Oh man. Um, well, surprisingly, actually, the the, the the guy that plays my brother, uh, Jared, on the show. He's cute too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he uh, he's walking around with a cast on his arm because he was doing his own stunt uh, about a month ago and broke it. So, <laughs> so it's uh, there's definitely dangers there. Uh, <laughs> Oh, 
We're supposed to be doing version one, man. You just said it's going to be version two. No. What's version one? Silence! We Real just did version Real one. Slate. Yeah, but I didn't get the line in, which means we got to do version one again. What's it's wrong? so good this season. Every episode, honestly, it's just been gaining momentum. How are you feeling about the chances of a new season? Hopefully, I mean, I think it's a good sign they brought us down here. They didn't need to for a second season show. So we're excited that people are excited about it, and we're just trying to make the best. Unfortunately, all we can do is make the best show we can and get naked in the party. So, and, uh, and you know, I, I, I reiterate that, and I say, you know, all we can do is make the best show we can and, and get Jared naked. Right. And, uh, so, I mean, I, and hopefully the ratings kind of will, uh, will come showering down. Is there anything you want to say to the fans, any little shout-out? Sing a little song, do a little dance, make a little up. Uh, I'm gonna be naked in there, so make sure you watch. It wasn't easy, but I found a heavyweight cleansing ritual that should do the trick. Bobby, that's uh, great. Except Sam, uh, Sam lost a foot. He what? Bobby, listen, listen. This, uh, this hot chick stole it from him. I'm serious. In her mid twenties, and she was sharp, you know, good enough at the con to play us. And she only gave the guy she hired a name, probably an alias or something. Well, Luigi or something. Lugosi. Lugosi. Lugosi? Lugosi. Oh, crap. It's probably Bella. <laughs> Bella Lugosi? That's cute. Bella Talbot's her real name. Crossed paths with her once or twice. Well, she knew about the rabbit's foot. Is she a hunter? Pretty friggin' far from a hunter, but she knows her way around the territory. She's been out of the country. Last I heard, she was in the Middle East someplace. Uh, I guess she's back. Which means seriously bad luck for you. Great. But if it is Bella, at least I might know some folks who know where to find her. Thanks, Bobby. Again. Just look out for your brother, you idiot. What? I lost my shoe. Question. Yeah. Do you curl your eyelashes? <laughs> That's a good question. That That's was question. actually my first question. Was it you roll your eye right there? Uh, no, you do oh. not. I He's just naturally you, beautiful. You can he that. can't help it. Um, all right, he knows. All right, here's some between scenes you like to throw knives in your trailer. Um, well, simply to practice for when I actually have to do them on camera. So that's a yes? That's a yes. All right. You've been arrested for shoplifting five times. No, that's not true. <laughs> you always have gummy bears around. No. No? Oh. That one was supposed to be true. No, was it? You once stomped a man to death for making fun of your shoes. Yes. <laughs> your favorite song is Freebird? In high school it was. I it, moved on. You moved on? Yeah. What's your favorite song now? Uh, Tell me everything about you. <laughs> it's all right there, Jimmy. Yeah, well, it's all right there. It's all on the worldwide. I like play Sam Winchester, and I like long walks on the beach. I'm Jensen Ackles. I play Dean Winchester on Supernatural. And he likes ponies. And I like writing ponies. <laughs> and a lot of our preparation is actually on the day. We don't get a week with our, our stuff in preparation with our, with our scenes. So every morning we get into the same truck and we, we start running lines immediately. And it's usually a, uh, you know, anywhere from a half hour to an hour drive to set every morning. So it's kind of like our little private time where we get to wake up in the morning and, and kind of get going and enjoy ourselves and relax and also kind of run lines. And it's a good little spot, a good little point of the day. So no, we're doing it at 5.30 in the morning. When we have downtime on set, a lot of times we, you concentrate on the scene you're doing, and if it's two and a half pages, and you're really trying to make the best of that scene because you're going to put it on camera, and then it's going to be gone forever. You'll never have chance to it again. So we, we sort of focus on the scene at hand. So that downtime is is used primarily for um, learning, studying, and trying to really pick up the, the, the nuances for the for the next scene that we're shooting. And he'll give me massages a lot of the time when I'm getting tense. You know, he gets tense. I do. I like the pilot. I mean, the pilot was kind of the genesis of it all. Steve, what the hell are you doing here? The finale of season one? Yeah, Devil's Trap finale of season one. When you get back, or I'll kill you, I swear to God. And from this season, I liked a couple of them too. I liked the first one, obviously. 
Dean, are you here? God, I feel like I'm at a slumber party. I like Simon's sad a lot, too. Dude, that van is sweet. <laughs> oh, come on. This is... This is magnificent, that's what this is. It also probably had something to do with the fact that I just had surgery on my arm. I was on pain medication, so... <laughs> Man, this is awesome. That, I love it. Yeah, this is a great episode. Because I just broke my arm, so. Dopey brother here. Yeah, I was like a big dope walking around, so. I don't know, maybe that's something to do with it. <clears throat> and Moby Dick's bong. It was a fun episode to film. We don't get a lot of chance to watch the shows either. We'll be on set, and I'll get a phone call from my mom, and it's late. I'm like, it's two hours later in Texas. She's like, you were great tonight, honey. I was like, oh, I was on. Like, well, yeah, yeah, how was it? How was it? Yeah, Tell me. How what episode was it? Yes, yeah, so we didn't get a whole lot of chance to see the show. But when we catch up on it, it's, it's fun to go back and watch. Yeah. Secretary's name is Carly. She's 23. She uh, kayaks. And they're real. I don't know what this is. <laughs> you mean Carly's MySpace address? Yeah, MySpace. What the hell is that? <laughs> Seriously, is that like some sort of porn site? All right, Dean. Come back. I love you. I love you, too. Great. What? I miss your musk. Okay. Get food. And we were sitting there, and, um, you know. I don't know why you're telling this story. I have to. I have to. Like, Jensen, he's a, you know, he, he plays sports, he works out, he's got a girlfriend. He's kind of a manly kind of guy. You know, he doesn't look it, but he's sort of like football and stuff. And we're sitting there, and we're waiting to get seated, and we're sort of like, uh, we're having a drink and um, having some appetizers and stuff. And then Jensen kind of gets this funny look on his face, and he goes, wait, stay still. <laughs> and then about halfway into reaching for my face, he realizes that he's like reaching to grab my face. And you see his face change from like, oh, I gotta get that too. What am I doing? <laughs> but it's too late. I think it would have been worse. There's nothing in there. Right? So it's a public restaurant scene we're so used to. Yeah. Uh, and like, I'm going, Jensen, we're not on set. We're not on set right in now. In a controlled yeah. environment. Yeah. yeah. Get these things. Yeah. Well, unfortunately for me, he forgot it in front of about, you know, 20 people that were... It was like, quick, chug your beer, chug your beer, chug your beer. Like, oh, <laughs> three more shots. <laughs> How does it Good morning, Jensen. I need to have someone here to paint me up and then... Yeah? Okay. Like Sharpie markers or something? <laughs> Do you really? Is it so? Is it blue or pink? We have silver. Oh, uh, it's not fine. Is it blue or pink? Oh, I got pink. You got to be pink. I got pink. Yeah, you know what? I was gonna try and wear pink. I don't know if I can pull that off. Sure you can. Absolutely. Oh, that's not gonna be stone face. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't do that to him. It's allowed. You know what it is? Yeah, it, it, it'll it'll pop out when we go yeah. visit family, or when it's tired, because then you're just too tired to say anything. <laughs> it's just lazy. It's just lazy, lazy talk. And usually our body language is like this. Are you sure you want me to go with these? <laughs> I got film, man. <laughs> hey, man, they got, they're got they flipping the lids on the scene. I'm going to go back in my trailer. <laughs> How long does that take you reckon? Shoot, I don't know. <laughs> Five, ten? Something. <laughs> Maybe it'll be done in New York. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm Carly. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, you know, how makes those parts one and two yeah. where Jared dead? Yeah. And you guys are like, walking. how were you able to pull that off? Because that was like really good when you were like, when he was like, dead. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's some of the best work he's ever done. <laughs> You know, the, the cool thing with, uh, with this show and, and, and the two characters is, uh, and, and working with Jared, um, is that we, you know, we work together 
so much that it's not hard to see him, you know, like that, and then try to envision him like that, you know, it's, or or um, you know, like if I was doing, if I was fresh on a TV show and I didn't really know the people that I was working with, I might have to think of somebody else in that position to kind of get me there emotionally. But because he and I are such good friends and, and we work together so much, it's, it's like, you know, he's, he's practically a brother to me anyway. And it's, so it's not that difficult to do the show. Trying to talk to you people. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's just working with each other. And, you know, he, he and I, we're just, just able to do it, I guess. Uh, I don't really know that there's a formula for it. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's like I said, any of those kind of days, they're, they're very taxing. And I remember uh, definitely the scene where I'm, I'm talking to him and kind of break down and stuff. I, I went to, to Kim Manners, who was filming that, who was directing that episode. And, uh, and I said, all right, Kim, I, I got to know what you're, what you're planning on doing for this, uh, this scene, because I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to get through it. Um, so, it, I, you know, if you could minimalize your, your shot list and just shoot it from, you know, two or three angles as opposed to six, it's going to help me because otherwise I'm just going to dry up and be worthless. So, so he did, he, you know, he and I collaborated a little bit and tried to figure out the best way to shoot it, the, the quickest way to get it done so that I'm not, you know, a total wreck. And it's always his episodes, too. Yeah. Uh, you know, the... the of course, I'm going to forget the name of the episode, but the, uh, where we're... Oh, Paul. Where no, no. No. <laughs> Although, yeah, that was him, too. <laughs> no, when we're sitting on the, uh, the end of the episode, we're sitting in the front of the, on the front of the house. Oh, yeah. Oh, turn this thing. That thing's... <laughs> and I remember that scene where I was like, you know, he's your dad, too, and I shouldn't be so hard on you and all that stuff. And then I got so wrecked after that. I had to take a walk down the road because I was so messed up. And it was... Uh, I'm just like, Kim, man, better quit that. So it's just, there's really no formula. Yeah, we'll keep on reading. It gets better. There's Sam girls and Dean girls, and what's a Slash fan? As in Sam slash Dean together. Like, Together, together? Yeah. They do know we're brothers, right? Doesn't seem to matter. I mean, Jess and I are obviously very close now, too. But I don't kiss Jensen <laughs> in public. <laughs> I'm trying to answer the dirty secret question. Hi, I'm Jared Padalecki, and this is CW Connect. DD32, as far as Sam having a love interest, I don't think so. I don't think Sam or Dean will ever have a, a, a true, what you call, love interest. I mean, we've both had our little flings and our little love scenes and kisses and stuff like that, but I don't think we're going to ever have a full... I don't think... It, I think it'd be kind of weird to have, you know, Dean and Sam and some chick in the Impala. I think they just like Dean and Sam in the Impala. So I don't know if there'll ever be a, a long-term relationship. Spoiler Wolf, I think that's a great question, and I, I do personally feel it's a great change for Sam. I mean, I've, I've had the opportunity to play good Sam, college boy Sam, and friendly Sam that, you know, Dean, don't shoot, we don't know what's going on here just yet, you know, hold your horses, let's figure things out, try and talk it through. So it's fun to, to play a baddie, you know, play a bad guy, and I had a great time shooting Born Under a Bad Sign where I got inhabited by a demon, or possessed, inhabited, where I got possessed by a demon, so I really enjoy doing it. Best show fan if Sam were to dress up. I think if Sam were to dress up as someone for Halloween, I think he'd dress up as Dean because um, he has access to all his clothes. He knows who does his makeup and his hair, and it'd be really easy to pull it off. Just go like this, and I'd be set. That's a great question. I mean, I think Sam's been forced to listen to a hard rock, and I think it's probably grown on him, but Sam strikes me as more the college kind of emo, bluesy, maybe a Jack Johnson or like a Death Cab for Cutie kind of guy. Dude, you fugly. Um, I try and uh, stay in shape by working out in the morning. I have a dog, 
I have two dogs, but my my big dog is uh, at home. He had surgery, so he's back home in L.A. recouping. So I run my dog a lot, and I basically I have a gym in my garage that I work out every morning, and I run on my treadmill. Bow hunter, this is your question. We already have our exact plan to get Kim Manners back, and we're going to in the next couple weeks with this guy. Don't twist on me. Neko Woman 14. Jensen does when we play golf. I, I shoot about a 140 on a good day. I threw about a bucket of balls. Um, so I'm, I'm certainly by no means a golfer, but I can beat him in Guitar Hero, which I'm very proud of. And I can also beat him in uh, Halo. Um, though I haven't played Halo a whole lot. It's new to me, but I like it a lot. But I like the old Nintendo 64 games, I guess, if you're asking about video games. That's a good question. Okay, uh, Yanks for Life. Yanks for Life, there's actually a really exact answer to this question. When I grew up, uh, my dad let me watch some movie of the week or something called Shadow Man. It was about a guy who is a shadow, but he commits himself to one person. And once he decides to change who he's going to be a shadow man for, he then kills the person who he used to be a shadow for. And it's really creepy and really scary. And I'd like to see Shadow Man. I think his name might not be Shadow Man, but that's what I think. Dude, they're not going to listen to this. They're not really going to care at all. we got to go work. Let's go. <laughs> see you later. Thanks for all your questions. Keep watching Supernatural Thursdays at 9, 8 central on The CW. Yes. Yes. Actually, the Easter Bunny is a pagan fertility symbol. Is there a theme of this season, a big overarching idea? Well, <laughs> Uh, there is, you know, there, there, there really is, and we can't say I mean, we're, we're trying to, uh, there's certain things we're actually trying not to uh, spoil. Uh, a lot of similarities between what you guys are doing on screen and a lot of Asian horror films. Mm -hmm. I was wondering what movies were your favorites from that Asian genre of horror, which is so damn good. Oh, horror. <laughs> 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 we hunt monsters. What the hell? If I could ask Jensen any question in any, any interview, he's never been straight with me, so I'd ask him why why do you cry so much and why do you say my name when you're sleeping? <laughs> Freaks me out. Yeah. When I have to wake him up in the morning, he's go like, hey, we gotta get to work, and he's like Jared dreaming and like drooling and crying and stuff, it's bad. Jared, I just want to know, why do you sweat so much? I just, I, I really would like to know what activities you do that make you sweat so much that you have to put paper towels down the neck of your shirt to sop up your sweat. <laughs> why I sweat so much? Um, knowing that he's always his eyes are always on me, desperately wanting. You ever heard that better than Ezra, Ezra song? Desperately wanting. He, that crush on me, it makes me kind of awkward. And he's always crying, and so I always feel like I should help him out. And I get nervous, you know, because I'm like, I want to do something for him, but I don't want to give him the wrong idea. And just that sort of crazy thought process in my head makes me sweat. It's embarrassing. Do I know you? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You just look really familiar. Same for the health club, pal.
And he was downstairs, I lived up. Uh, yeah, it worked out kind of nice because I bought a house last year, you know? And um, he was living in a place that he was running for his buddy and got kicked out. And so I was like, come on, stay over there. So uh, we danced and cooked and cleaned. <laughs> We watch football and go to sleep, basically. Sometimes there'll be nights we have a little bit of extra layover. Layover. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Uh, well, a little bit of extra uh, turnaround, you know, so we'll hang out, play guitar, you know, watch. Who does the cooking and the cleaning? Cliff, our bodyguard. <laughs> Here, I can blame him. He actually does. He'll bring over stuff and, like, grill. He has a nice little apron. Uh, I think we both, I think we both clean. Uh, luckily, he's a pretty clean guy. We've always gotten along, you know, we got along from day one, so I think we realized, listen, we're spending so much time together. Um, and it's nice because his feelings aren't hurt if I walk in and go like, dude, get out of here, I'm going to sleep. And if he walks in, if we walk in, he's like, dude, I got to crash. I'm like, cool, you know, and I'll play Nintendo by myself or something with two tears. <laughs> but, uh, Thank you, thank you. Uh, I love that. But uh, but it's been nice. It's been nice because we work so hard and we get a chance to work on our stuff. So it's nice. I'm saying this seven and a half episodes into it. When I see y'all guys next time, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna buy this own house. Just give me, <laughs> give me away from me. Uh, where's the mic? I see somebody. I'm Jared Padalecki from Supernatural. What's going on, Buddy TV? It's something that comes naturally. I, I sort of, uh, Jensen's got a big old crush on me, and so I just sort of try and play off it. And, you know, I've told him many times that's going to happen. You know, I'm not like that. But he's really into me, so I can just kind of play off it. No, we, uh, we're, we're pretty laid back guys. We're both from Texas, and we're both sort of um, kind of like to get our work done and have a good time. I'm not really like drama kings, you know? Like, I've worked with people who just need some sort of conflict and need to, hey, did you hear what blah blah said about blah blah? Like, oh, come on, like, just relax and, you know, you work 14-hour days anyways, it's not worth getting bent up about stupid things. So it, it came pretty naturally. I mean, we're pretty similar. We, we actually live together right now. So, like, even at night, it's like, get home from set from change of 12 hours. It's like, want to play guitar? Cool, you know, until we go to sleep or something, so. The dynamic, the brother dynamic between Sam and Dean is definitely going to change. I mean, obviously, Dean died at the end of season three. Um, and went to hell. So a lot's happened in the last four months, and Sam has things that he's not telling Dean, and Dean has things he's not telling Sam, and they've both changed, and they both realize things about themselves and done things that they're kind of ashamed of or, you know, kind of worried about that they're kind of keeping from each other. So the dynamic is definitely different. Um, you know, now Dean, seems Sam, Dean has seen Sam die, Sam's seen Dean die. We've both died. I mean, we've changed and we've grown, and we've kind of um, become more individual. Um, so the dynamic's definitely going to change. Well, Sam definitely had to get darker because when Dean died, Sam had to look out for himself. And so as opposed to Sam being the one who was like, hey, let's you know, ask questions first and shoot later, he had to become, hey, let's shoot first, ask questions later, because he had to make sure he didn't die like Dean did. And he had to kind of carry on the Winchester legacy. And also Sam's kind of struggled with these issues and you know, what his powers are, and the yellow-eyed demon showed uh, Sam that he bled in his mouth when he was a baby, and so he's wondering about that, and he's curious, and he wants to know, he wants to know answers. I mean, he's known his whole life that he was kind of weird and different, but he wants to know why, and he wants to know to what end, and so I think he's really curious about finding that out. That's usually always filmed on the same day, too. They usually decide to take the funniest scene, where you kind of have to be goofy and crazy and stick it with the scene where you're like, Dean, I don't want you to die. So, you know, by the end of the day, I'm exhausted from crying and laughing and doing everything in between. The tragedy definitely comes more naturally to me. I've never thought I was a funny actor. I've always been, I like to have a good time in person. I like to joke around and kid around, but I've never been like, let me tell you a joke, guys. So um, the comedy never really came easy and drama king or you know I'm a cancer so I'm very emotional <laughs> it's easy to tap into that reserve of sadness whenever uh, the lines are written so probably the tragedy I love fairy tales <laughs> 
one of the things that I love about Supernatural is is just the uh, the timeless classic, and it's it's not really given a name, but um, the archetypes and the mythology of good versus evil and the friendly beast, and you know, um, like Star Wars is chock full of them. I mean, the relation to evil and the struggle with was my destiny or can I control my destiny, and uh, you know. Um, Satan will have a smiling face and be the greatest salesman you ever meet and struggling with uh, you know what's on the top layer and what's underneath and so just sort of the the general mythology that's been around since season one is kind of what excites me the most not a specific demon or anything I think there's some out there actually somebody told me one time that there was a drinking game that like what was it like every time Dean said bitch or something, it was like he had to drink a beer or so. I don't know what it, whatever it is. But uh, if if I had to do it, I would say every time Jared says Dean, he's constantly saying, Dean, seriously, Dean, come on, Dean. We got he's constantly saying Dean. <laughs> I guess I really haven't busted him about that, but I should now. Whenever you're ready, Dean. Dean, quit screwing around, Dean. Dean, I am summoning Rube. You're just gonna have to go with me on this, all right, Dean? You just have to. Yeah, so what is it then, Dean? What the hell is happening to us? Dean. Of course, if you did that, you might not even enjoy it. You might not get through the episode, but... Uh... <laughs> okay, if I could invent my own supernatural drinking game, I would base it on the character of Dean, and every time Jensen makes model face, he'd have to take a drink, and so everybody would be drunk every episode. <laughs> a lot of fun. <laughs> Jensen's got a big old crush on me, and so I just sort of try and play off it. And, you know, I've told him many times that's going to happen. You know, I'm not like that. But he's really into me, so I can just kind of play off it. The most helpful thing I've learned about Jared, um, hide the beans from him during lunch. <laughs> it makes it a little bit more tolerable to work with him. There's a laundry list. I'll, I'll just give you my top one. That's my top one. Oh, really? Oh, is that what he was saying? That I take a long time getting ready. Uh, that's because in the morning I wake up and I work out and I, I uh, lift weights in my gym and then I run. I'll run my dog or I'll run my treadmill or something. And he basically rolls his little pretty ass out of bed and gets into the shower and primps and he's ready to go. He's in his mirror about 40 minutes before pickup time, making sure he looks good while I'm pounding the pavement trying to work out. Take a long time getting ready. I'm gonna whip his ass. We're putting Jensen in another outfit, not this episode. We're doing a magician episode right now, which really is really a lot of fun. It's gonna be really good. But our next one, we go back to a school where, uh, where we had gone when we were growing up, and Jensen gets to be a gym teacher. And so I'm happy. I'm like, as long as he's the one that gets to dress up. Uh, why is it always, why is it always Dean? <laughs> Yeah. Why does Dean always get the shorter than the script? I think the I think the, the the word that they use, the phrasing that they use in the script is um, plum smuggler shorts. <laughs> honest to God, honest to God. God. No, wasn't it the Nuthuckers? No. <laughs> I think it's the same basic idea. I think plum smuggler. I thought it was the McDonald's character. I was like, plum smuggler. What is his name? The Big circle, man. You get that. That's the hamburglar and plum sub. The G's and the L and the <laughs> shirt. Is there an R in there or something?
from like ah! that fast. How awesome was Eye of the Tiger? Episode. And Phil's one of our, uh, our directors that'll kind of let us have fun and improv a little bit and kind of mess around. And so the scene is I walk up with donuts and bang on the window and I catch him kind of amping himself up. And so they had this big shot set up and they were like, and roll cameras, roll sound, and action. And I just kind of stood there. I was like, I'm not going in. I'm going to see what he does. And so I guess he didn't have any idea because I didn't tell anybody. And so even Johnny, our first AD, was like, hey, hey, cute. I was like, I know, I know, it's cool. Let him have some fun. And then in comes music video. <laughs> and I'm sitting there, I'm so I'm sitting there in the front seat, and then we hear the you know the playback and the big speaker, and then we're outside, we've got like you know, extras like walking down the street, and cars <laughs> flying by, and there's this whole thing. We got two cameras set up, which is why it's edited together. So it, a lot of people were like, no way, they had like multiple cameras. There was just two cameras set up. Yeah. And so I'm sitting there and I'm doing the, the drumming, and he's I'm like, okay, he should have been here by now. <laughs> Why is he not? He should have stopped it. What's up? Well, here come the word. The first line is rising up. That's just too good. And then I just, I went with it. And then <laughs> you'd notice maybe as, you, as I'm climbing out the car window that I kind of like, I start smiling and I almost started laughing and I turned and I'm like, nope, keep going, keep going. Keep going. You can do this. Going on. Yeah, you know, they the just let the cameras shoot. roll, so I kept going. Yeah, and we had these boom boxes playing playback, you know, so you could kind of hear it up and down the street. And usually during the shot, half the crew was like reading the newspaper or, you know, moving their gear from one to the other. So I think they were looking around like, why is. Hey, you look at the back of this. I haven't read the sides. I there's, people, there's people like walking in the background, kind of going, is he supposed to be doing that? <laughs> Don't look he's standing in the eyes, he's a freak. <laughs> Don't look that weirdo in the face. <laughs> so anyway, that was, and of course, Phil being the uh, the the post production producer of the show, and he's usually the one who puts together all the uh, the gag reels. He of course was like, "Let it roll, let it roll. This, this, this is good stuff. This is good stuff." I think they actually called cut for a second. I think someone called cut, and luckily our our camera guys and Phil were like, "No, no, no, keep rolling." Yeah, so, yeah. And, uh, that would have been a shame to not have. So he he just took it around with it. He's like, no, "We're going to make this huge." And I'm like, "Why? It was a goof." <laughs> He blew it up, so there you go. Was that you so, laughing in the background? Yeah, I was cracking up. Well, I didn't know what was gonna happen, and so I just started busting up laughing. And I was, I guess it sounds so loud because I was mic'd for the scene, and so I'm like, ah! <laughs> just like that. Dude. That's how he laughs. It is, it is. That's, that's my new Sam laugh. You'll notice an episode of Sam. Whenever Dean makes a joke. <laughs> Bobblehead. I know. Give it a shake. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. There you go. Shake oh, it. Nice. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. I'm gonna have a really cold left eye. I'm not sweating over here and frozen right there. It's gonna make for an interesting. Oh my gosh, how many do we have? Enough for you. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to. How many packets you got? How many packets you got? Alright, I Cold tush, cold tush. This is going horribly wrong. <laughs> but I'm so right. Just yeah. Right. <laughs> What's going on over here? <laughs> Are there no chairs for you guys standing in the back? Oh, I see. Okay. Right. As long as there's a place to sit down. 
<laughs> the which one? The Mavericks game on Thursday. No, we were working. That was the night. Yeah, we were on set. That was the night of the show, right? Yeah. Thursday. Yeah. So what were you doing watching the Mavericks game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I only watched the Spurs. You mean the most boring team in basketball? Oh, come on. It's been a bad year for us, because uh, now we finally uh, kind of get to hang out on Sundays. What are you doing? What are you doing? We like it. I like it. I like C-cups, then. I shall. Uh-oh. I, I guess that's my cue. I... <laughs> you son of a bitch. You speak the French to me. <laughs> buddy of ours and myself. Um, I guess we were watching football one Sunday, and so, you know, we were barbecuing. We probably had some wine. We had some wine. Uh, <laughs> and whatever else happened that night. But um, I get an email. I'm laying down to go to bed. It's finally like 2 or 3 in the morning. I have to work the next day. And I get like a bring, and I was like, who is sending me an email? And so I look at my little thing, and it's a picture of Jensen, like, uh, and then Harley and Sadie's faces. I guess he, I guess they followed him because we now live together. So I guess they followed him downstairs. They smelled a sucker, and they were like, he's not, he's not awake enough to like not let us on the bed. And so I guess he passed out. And so there go like Harley and Sadie jumping onto the bed with their dog lips all over the place. It's a nice picture though, I'll have to find it and, and sneak it onto YouTube or something. <laughs> My three dogs. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in like D-A-W-G. <laughs> Don't touch it. <laughs> Thank and you. And I wish you best of luck in your pursuit of Jensen. <laughs> <laughs> what pursuit of Jensen is this? On all those CW videos where you're talking about how he's interested in you? I mean, it's obvious. No, no, he's, he's pursuing me. I, we're not pursuing anything. Jared, you've just been had. <laughs> I didn't learn that Ipecac thing. How are you? you know? uh, I'm going to, uh, don't do it. Every day. <laughs> I take walk. I wait. But that's because I have book. dogs. I'm like waiting on Jared. And I'm all, <laughs> I have dogs. I have to like shuffle them out the door. It's my house. I have to lock it up and make sure the alarm is set. And I always work out in the morning. So I'm always like, until I wait for the last second, I have to shower and I'm all glistening and like. <laughs> and I'm in the car waiting. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Jared's the girl. Oh, God. I didn't say it. Security. What gave you that impression of these luscious locks? I work, I work out. I've got dogs. So Jared's the girl. Makes sense to me. <laughs> I, think I, I think I'm getting called. Am I getting called? All right, guys. I'm being summoned out of here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they make me really sad. They know I'm happy. Oh, uh, we're not happy. Thanks, guys.
You're over here. I was being nice there, I was trying to help him out. Jerk. <laughs> this is a family program. On Jared. I pictured. I'm Becky. I've read all about you guys, and I've even written a few. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Edlin told me where you were. Chuck? He's got a message, but he's being watched. Angels. Nice change up to the mythology, by the way. The demon stuff was getting kind of old. Right, uh, just, um, what's the message? He had a vision. The Michael sword is on Earth. The angels lost it. The Michael sword? Becky, does he know where it is? In a castle on a hill made of 42 dogs. 42 dogs? Are you sure you got that right? It doesn't make sense, but that's what he said. I memorized every word for you. Um, Becky, uh, can you quit touching me? No. 